It is finally here, guilds. This new feature inside the Pixels game will let you join your favorite community, battle over rare lands, and give you access to higher tiered resources so you are able to complete more and better Pixel tasks. Hi, my name is Player W3 and I create helpful videos to help you understand Pixels. You can find them on the biggest Pixels only YouTube channel. This time, I have teamed up with one of the largest Web3 guilds, YGG, to deliver you all the information you need about guilds. Follow along in this super quest and complete all lessons to earn a soulbound NFT achievement badge and 300 pixel reputation points. So let's dive right in. You can see guilds as different teams or communities within the Pixels community. Joining a guild will give you the opportunity to learn the Pixels game in a friendly and accessible way, where helpful team members are there for you to help you progress through the game. Now let me give you an example of how guilds will bring exciting and more competitive gameplay to the Pixels game. With the upcoming exploration, everyone, even free-to-play players, can search and discover special lands. Some of these lands you can discover are so-called contestable lands. Here, guilds can participate in contests to win ownership over this land for a specific period of time. Only members of the winning guild get access to the highest tiers of resources and unlock the most exciting things in the game like pet mints, special quests, access to new maps and are able to complete more and better pixel tasks. The guild who owns the land can also decide to sell these resources on the marketplace or even sublease the land, charge taxes and who knows what we will see in the future. There will be many different discoverable land types. For example, a wood type land. To be able to chop these trees here, you may need to upgrade your ox with new types of resources we haven't seen in game before. I am interrupting this video to give you a hint about the first guide to guilds quest. Make sure to talk to player W3's NPC inside the guilds castle. Now find the copper magnifying glass outside in the garden. It is hidden left of the green doggo and surrounded by blue aqua flowers. When you have found the magnifying glass, bring it back to player W3's NPC. Alright, I hope these sneak peeks make you as excited as I am. Now check out this next video where you can learn how to join a guild and how to find out what is the right type of guild for you. Right here, sit outside the garden. Okay, copper magnifying glass. Okay, we find and let's get back. So we can finish avatar. Kyder. Okay, 
I will get back to player W3. Fantastic, we got my pine glass. Super Quest 2 Look Unlock number 2 Join the guild. Tap. Looks like the game constant stream new pictures and kill part. You can unlock. Welcome back. I will explain how to join a guild and how you can decide which is the right guild for you. Let's get the most important thing out of the way. Let's join a guild. When you are in game, click on this purple button in the top right to go to your dashboard. Now go to the guild step and select the guild you want to join. Here you can click on the green button Purchase Guild Shard. Congratulations! You are now a shard holder of this guild. To become an actual guild member, the guild leader can improve you and give you a different member role. Now have a look at some details. You can buy multiple shards of the same guild with pixel tokens. And you can even buy shards of different guilds at the same time. It is important to know that you can only have one active guild. You also might have noticed that the prices of the memberships can vary a lot. This is because of the so-called bonding curve. It means that the more members a guild has, the more a new membership shard will cost. This creates competition between guilds, but also balances the size of guilds, which creates a fair play field for guild leaders and members. It also means that when you want to exit a guild, you can sell the shard back to the guild for its current price. This could lead to some profit, especially if you joined a guild really early and go 
if members left and therefore the price of the shard would have dropped. Interesting to know is that there is a selling fee. Half of this goes into the pixels treasury and the pixels DAO can decide what will happen with that. The other half of the fee will go to the guilds treasury. This way guilds can invest in better resources or reward their most loyal members for example. How do you choose the right guild for you to join? Well, there is no definitive answer to this, but if you are looking at in-game aspects, you could choose a guild that has a lot of lands, so you can easily collect resources. You could also choose a guild based on their knowledge and their ability to help new players. Or choose a guild that is allowing experienced players only. Or maybe you can join your favorite content creator or a guild that represents your favorite NFT avatar. And I am sure there will be guilds which are really competitive and are always going for the win inside the game. So a quick update on the guide to guilds level 2 quest. Open the quest by talking to Luke's NPC. Oh no, the Terra villains have broken the windows of the post office. It is up to you to find a fingerprint with a magnifying glass on one of the wooden planks outside the building. Once you have found it, go back to Luke and he will reward you with the Pixels HQ key. Now let's get back to the reasons outside of the game to join a guild. Maybe you are part of a real life group of friends and you want to play together in the game. Maybe your guild will have real life meetings or host online game nights. And who knows, maybe we will see a guild someday that represents a big brand inside or even outside the Web3 world. If you are still undecided, you can always join the request list of a guild to bookmark it. Okay, this next video is for you if you are interested in creating your own guild. Go check it out now. Okay, let's get to Boss Artist. First we need to secure, let's empty a storage for the key, we will find that, we will find it on the post office. Find the bigger friend. Sit here. Find the bigger friend. Where's the finger print? side Oh, 
maybe we can ask the other players. Mysterious fingerprints. Okay, so let's get to get to look. Look, I got it. Look. Can you talk to me? Instant. You get instant three hundred reputation. Checking the quest. Kill member search. You can buy using pixels. Bonding curve it means if many players join the guild, the price of the shards will get up. to look uh, I already okay I already got this maybe we can refresh We're just finding the fingerprint. Thank you. 
do. Go to next level, level 3. Welcome back. I will show you why you would want to create your own guild, how to do this, and of course I won't forget about this fancy looking Pixels HQ key. There are many reasons to create a guild. You can bring your community together in a popular, fun and immersive Web3 game. In this game you will become a leader. And because of this, you can give out tasks or even attract different player types and Web3 talent. You will earn 5% of all guild shard sales. This means the better you do, the more demand there is for your guild and the more pixel you will earn. Of course, these earnings go into a guild treasury you get to govern. And this opens up a lot of possibility for your community. Owning or renting NFT farmland is essential to a guild's success. NFT farmlands will produce rare, higher tiered resources that will unlock your guild's ability to complete more task board tasks. NFT farmlands also gives your guild a better chance of winning the contestable lands and all the highest tier resources that come with it. I mean look at this, what if you need 1 million Astra Cactus? 1 million water mint and 1 million clay to be able to win that contestable land. Having access to NFT farmland will surely help you with that. Now let's find out how to create a guild. Go to the dashboard by clicking on this purple icon in the top right. Click on the guilds tab and then on create a guild. You can fill out the name of the guild and also a description. The guild handle will be visible in the URL and is also shown below your guild name. Be aware you cannot change this text later. You can also fill in the Twitter handle to have a link to your Twitter account. I have already told you that your guild will receive a 5% fee from every shard sale. This fee will be sent to the address right here. By default it is the same as your wallet connected to your Pixels account but you can change it to a different wallet and even a multi-sig wallet. You can also upload your own guild emblem as a PNG file. You have the option to go with a whitelist approach, where you can handpick players to be able to buy shards, or leave it open so that anyone can buy shards. You can always toggle this on or off, for example to stop entering new shard holders. Now click on create a guild at the bottom, and pay the fee. Congratulations, your guild is registered. And players can add your guild to their request list. This gives you the time to promote your guild, gauge interest and set a launch date to actually activate your guild. You can do this by clicking on the button activate guild. You have to pay another fee, but you also get multiple shards pre-minted in return. You as a guild owner can transfer these shards to players of your choice. To conclude, let's check out guide to guilds level 3. Find Gabby from YGG in the game. He talks about a power pixel. You need your Pixels HQ key in order to find it. Go inside the Pixels HQ building and use the key to gain access to the elevator. Here you have to find the power pixel. Make sure you have your magnifying glass and to give you a hint, you probably want to focus on the yellow water on the left. Once you have found the power pixel, bring it back to Gabby. Congratulations! You now have earned 300 extra reputation points. And by completing all these quests, you also earned a magnifying glass and access to these caves. Oh, and don't forget about the power pixel. 
your journey into exploration has only just begun. Oh, we have new exploration. Let's find Gami. Okay, it's now time. Gami. Guide to guilds. Your mark to quest connects with the ancient roots of your guild. So I need to go to okay, Why Great Guild? You can earn 5% of the guard jar shard sales. Use the pixels. It's you. Where is the pixels? You will need magnifying glass. Okay, so let's get to Terrabella. Let's start the new exploration. I'm excited. Service maintenance. Oh. Why? But those turbulence luck heads is it that the, it's the pulley system missing is the pulley system missing a vital clock. How can I fix this clock? Victoria needs some help on the cog. Where is Victoria? Let's find Victoria. Need to find Victoria to fix it. Here's my Colma. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, maybe here. Another home. Home sweet home. Let's find Victoria. Where's Victoria? Where is Victoria? Does anyone know Victoria? This is Victoria. Victoria. Victoria's Secret. Oh, why I can't? Oh, what's this? Attention. Quick. Where is Wes? <laughs> Where is Lap? I can go there. 
take the door. Thank you for. I said, click the door. Oh, what happened? the hall they sell uh, let's go to guild hall Say Victoria. Okay, let's ask where is Victoria? Anywhere is Victoria? Okay, you get it. Maybe we can go back to. Let's find Victoria. There are more, so many scrapings here. I'm finding Victoria. What happened? Uh, maybe look here. Hey, where is Victoria? Gabby. Yeah. 
gives. Victoria. Okay, let's get back again. We need to get the key. Where is the key? They don't give me the key, I give them when you buy glass. Here is Victoria. Okay, where is Victoria? Where is Victoria? Service maintenance. Okay, I got the key, but the door is locked. So Jinx, what is this? There's a new item, Pixel Jinx. Okay, let's visit again our friends here. Okay, have they find Victoria? Hello now. Do we wait? Do have to wait on the maintenance? Uh, so what do we do now? Uh, wait for the maintenance.
Okay, let's check. Finish. Okay. Now claim reward. Okay, now we know. Super quest batch okay, achievement I received. Okay, I finished the super quest. Just check. earn some let's go to Tarabella and do we earn 300 reputation Hey there, geeks! Join in and subscribe to Blaze Creativity's channel for some authentic creativity. Let's bring on the charisma and spark up the passion as we help him reach 1 million views and subs. I'm Sylvie, ready to rock your world. Boom!